Man, we've got a lot to talk about today. Hello everyone and welcome into the video. Uh, we're gonna start this off with a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm down over 40 pounds officially and uh, and I'm actually wearing new uh, gold jeans. I don't know if anybody's out there got clothes that they hope to fit into someday, but for the first time in a long time, I'm fitting into so many more clothes, but let's do the side-by-side -side, and then we're gonna break down all the updates and talk about so much more, especially as it relates to the future of Final Fantasy uh, with Dawn Trail being announced uh, and also all the information that we got at the last Fan Fest. So welcome in everybody. Let's let's start with this. I'm a little bit nervous. You're gonna see my uh, shirtless body as a, as, a, as a heads up. All right. <laughs> now, while I'm not going shirtless here, you can see the before picture and I still got plenty to lose. And that's been one of the big goals. I left uh, Final Fantasy XIV, I retired from that game uh, from, for three main reasons, but many, many reasons overall. The first one was I focused in on my health and family. I was playing this game too much. Uh, and so I went radical. I had to make some major changes to my life. One was uh, working out in place of playing Final Fantasy XIV. So I would get up uh, every day around 4.30 or 5, uh, play Final Fantasy XIV, so that way I had the experience and the footage and more to be able to make content, focusing on the controller guides. Um, but obviously uh, that uh, needed to change. This was not sustainable. Uh, being in your 40s and being over 300 and Honestly, the highest I ever got was 320 pounds. Um, but when I really kind of was looking at the scale uh, this time last year, I was 310 pounds. And I'm going to count the, the weight loss from 310, not 320, because I'm a bit embarrassed by that. Um, but I had to make those changes. Now, the craziest thing uh, happened because uh, I've been trying to lose weight for years. I I've, I've tried to find some of the old footage of me uh, talking about this that I never ended up publishing, but I couldn't find it, so it might be just lost to time. Um, I've been trying to lose a lot of this weight for years and years and years unsuccessfully and being told many different things, a lot of different noise about how to do so. Uh, you know, it's diet, it's exercise. I was doing both. I was doing both before leaving uh, Final Fantasy XIV, but what I decided to do was become insanely radical about the exercise. So I'd get up and I still get up today and work out. But the first thing that actually happened was I started gaining weight. I started putting on weight and I uh, wasn't losing anything. Uh, and if you actually go look at like past video footage and live streams, you'll see that I was pretty heavy up until June. And the reason was, and we, we finally discovered it. And so if you guys especially are a, a man, you might want to pay attention to this because this has been a game changing to me. Uh, the first thing was I went to the doctor, I showed him all my workouts, I showed him my food, and then I begged him to test everything. I thought I might've had a thyroid issue. This has been something that's plagued me for over a decade as to why it is so difficult to lose weight despite you know, my food choices and despite my exercise routine. I was an athlete in college. I played college baseball. Uh, and so like I was I was used to, I like working out. It's, it's a good healthy thing and it makes me feel so, so much better. Well, taking all this information and this like, guys, I've been almost like perfect. Like sugar, no. Alcohol, no. You know, like I'm not eating pizza. I love pizza. I'd love to eat pizza again someday. No. Um, go there, peg him to test everything, find out that I have a low testosterone issue and it was low, like 187. If there's any medical people who are watching this, they'll probably tell you that's insanely low, very dangerous. There's a high risk of also cancer being associated with that. So if you are a guy and you're experiencing anxiety, depression, fatigue, those could be related, you know, and that's actually something that I've experienced. So having gone on the therapy, uh, not net making any other changes because I was already working out, I was already uh, keeping things nice and <laughs> lean in, in terms of food. And the weight has now finally, my body's actually processing like it should. My energy level's improved, my sleep has improved, my anxiety has gone away. Uh, and uh, there's always a lot of guilt that's always gonna be associated with being overweight, like no matter what, like, cause there's that, per there's always a perception that you're lazy. There's always these, these biases that people have. And I'm not judging people for having that, right? Like the eyes make and see information and then you make, you know, you know, thoughts. And so like, I always felt like I had to work harder, do more, uh, and that's, uh, you know, thankfully I have that kind of personality, which allows me to kind of really get into that zone and, and keep, uh, keep pressing forward. 
Um, the other thing, so like in terms of that, like that's going well. I still have over 60 pounds to lose. I'd love to get under uh, 210. If you guys haven't seen the coverage over Awards a Game in a while, uh, I talk about uh, Dawn Trail and will I play it? Uh, it will. Uh, it, it is all predicated on uh, getting under that 210 uh, weight. I, uh, I remember like back in Heaven's Word and every expansion, I kept saying like, you know what, I'm gonna lose uh, you know, 50 pounds before the expansion and then the expansion would drop and I, I've only, you know, gained weight. Gaining weight is something I apparently I was really good at. And and so this actually feels really, really nice. And it's going to make whenever I do step back into the Final Fantasy world so much more enjoyable, so much more just physically feeling so much better. Playing games already, uh, it has been great. And so now let's talk about some of the other aspects, some of the other follow-ups to uh, the other thing. Um, you know, so I talked about how we had uh, baby number six on the way. Baby number six is here. Molly has been born. Uh, she's gorgeous. She's incredible. Uh, over six months old now. And uh, Julie and I couldn't be happier. Obviously, having uh, kids uh, takes a lot of time. And that's that's still an aspect like that. It, when it comes down to time outside of just taking care of my personal health, which allows me to be a better dad and more engaged with the kids. Well, you know what it does is like we've been doing so much more as a family i've been playing t-ball with the boys we've got them in that and that's been a lot of fun we're doing soccer with the girls and the soccer with the whole family but uh soccer in the spring t-ball in the fall and uh looking at doing hopefully some gymnastics and one of the things i'm still trying to figure out how i want to try to fit it into my budget because it's expensive is get the kids into uh, judo uh, jujitsu uh, in this case because that's something that i enjoyed uh, uh growing up as well not, not, not just for the discipline, but also just for the grappling. And uh, I think Jiu-Jitsu is the, the coolest <laughs> of uh, the fighting styles. But you guys can, you know, weigh in on your thoughts there. Um, so there's just that activity. It's not about uh, quality time with the kids. It's about quantity time. And so we, uh, you know, I'm just trying to always. And that's just, again, health gives me more time to spend with the kids. And that's been wonderful. Um, a couple of things that is interesting. We'll talk about New World for a little bit. And then I'm going to talk about comedy. Um, you know, namely that I remember seeing a lot of people, especially they're asking Asmongold, like, do you think he'll survive the pivot? You know, do you think his channel will, will continue to thrive? And I kept Final Fantasy uh, off of this channel for a long time before I started bringing in uh, that kind of content here. Uh, and so I think the numbers in themselves are, you know, that they, they kind of highlight a major thank you to everybody who's hit that subscribe button and taken a chance on my content. We crossed over 75,000. And while it does not compare to the the millions of some of the content creators, Josh Dry, Faze, uh, Asmin, um, you know, my name is Bife, like a lot of great content creators out there. Uh, it feels like a really big number and I couldn't be more uh, thankful. The New World channel, which, you know, like one of the things that people are like, oh, do you still play New World? It's like, yeah. I moved New World over into its own channel prior, you know, for like a long time. And that channel's crossed over 17,000 subscribers. Thank you guys for that over in New World Central. Uh, I'm loving the game. The The game just had its uh, first ex paid expansion. Well, it's, they didn't classify Brimstone as an expansion, but it's clear that Brimstone was a free expansion as maybe, you know, probably originally planned to be paid, but uh, they, they needed to do more work. Um, when people think that New World's done, like I just, remind them like final people said that about Final Fantasy 14 and uh and I, I I believe in the team and what they're capable of doing and I think they're going to continue to make it I think uh what was really you know interesting about the gaming side of all of this is just how many people started to echo the frustrations that I've had with Final Fantasy so when I say like I'm going to sit down and play Dawn Trail once I lose the the weight yeah but I'm not going to continue to play Dawn Trail I'm going to play Final Fantasy 14 as Yoshi P has designed it to be enjoyed. Play pre the expansion, play the expansion, maybe play the point up to the point one patch, and then take two years off and come back and do it again. Um, that design philosophy has done real well for the game. It'll be interesting to see from an, uh, you know, just an MMO analyst perspective, uh, how and if that continues. Now, I do think uh, we'll see, uh, you know, people coming back. We'll see a lot more excitement around the game uh, as it gets closer to the launch. Uh, but it is kind of a cycle, you know, like I've talked about multiple times, MMOs, Destiny, like Final Fantasy, like you have a season of hype, you have a season of grind, which is where you play the content, and then you have a season where you complain about everything. Um, and it's not that, uh, you know, like any of those seasons are particularly bad. It just seems very formulaic. And so for me, like as a content creator and an MMO analyst, like, yeah, it just is kind of be expected. Okay, you got new content, people are excited. 
people step away and then it ends up just being kind of a lot of noise that gets made in uh, in the interim but new world's doing great i really have been enjoying being a part of that community um i have i cover blue protocol as well and i put that on its own channel uh, and those are some interesting experiments to see how uh, they perform because it also gives me a lot of analytics into the genre and one of the things that we clearly know is mmos can be very tribal with their player base i think josh strife hayes recently said on a clip how final fantasy 14 is the most toxic gaming community out there and it's interesting because that wasn't always the case and he chalks it up to thinking because of its size and i think that's maybe part of it but at the end of the day like i think you have to separate the community from kind of the cult uh where you know the community is perfectly fine with critique and then you have the cult which is like you should never say anything bad about this game or we're going to like you know send you death threats and we're you know final fantasy's you know cult is very good at doing that um so on a, a, like the gaming side of things i think it's been really really well uh the, you know i'm gonna keep making content one of the best things about uh my approach uh to content is i have a job you know like and i go to work I think those things allow me to be as truthful and honest with you guys as at all possible in every turn. So that way, like, you know, if you're, you're offended, I did lose like 1700 subscribers by leaving Final Fantasy 14. That's perfectly fine. Like my kids aren't reliant on whether you're enjoying the content or not. That just means that I should make better content, you know, in that regards. But I, I get it and I understand it. You know, you, people tend to sub for one game and a variety channel like Ginger Prime is, uh, you know, that is going to be something where it's going to have a lot of ups and downs and I'm not going to chase the hype. I never really enjoy chasing hype. If I'm excited about something, I'm talking about it before the hype kicks in and then we have a fun time with it. And then as soon as the game is out, then you end up seeing kind of those those dips. And that's a fun part about content creation and what I get to do. Now, that all being said, let's talk about comedy. Uh, guys, if you are still here in this video, the top link is my Instagram. Apparently comics use Instagram and I've been challenged by my fellow comedians to get to a thousand subscribers on Instagram, not subscribers, followers in this case. Get, we've just jumped up to 150. So we've got 850 to go. So hopefully I can uh, get 850 of you guys to hit that follow button over there as well. Uh, I'm going to keep plugging that until I've, I've hit the challenge. It's The goal is by the end of this year. So I think we have a decent amount of time. And so thank you guys so much for who have already followed me over there. But if you haven't started yet, uh, that is where Comics Network, that and Facebook, it's the wildest thing. I've been doing a lot of shows. I've been posting clips. People have been trying to cancel me. Uh, it means I'm in a real comic. You know, it's a real like it's a real comic uh, right there. So I think that's overall good. We're going to keep doing shows. I just uh, performed at the Dallas uh, you know, uh, Comedy Club for the first time. Uh, that was exciting. I've got a, a show coming up, I know, in Fort Worth here in December. And uh, one of the things that will always be the struggle, you know, is my, my lack of, uh, you know, all the kinds of free time. But joining into di various different comic uh, groups, uh, looks like we're going to be writing some sketches and making some videos together as well. I've been invited to be a part of a uh, something about, you know, the uh, upcoming uh, debates and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to getting the script and seeing wh <laughs> what I'm going to be doing there. Um, comedy has been really uh, helpful for me. I know a lot of people have their their theories about uh, stand-up comedy, um, but for me, it's just this great and beautiful form uh, of speech, of you know, just throwing it all out there, being as ridiculous as you can be, sometimes being as offensive as you can be, sometimes being hopefully as funny as you can be. And uh, I've been able to really just kill some rooms, which is an expression that somebody was like, what? I guess, especially if you're in another language, it just means that you just really do well. The crowd is absolutely just on board, and and uh, and I really enjoy that. So it's been it's been great. Some of y'all have been able to come out to my shows, so I thank you uh, for those of you who've been uh, been out to the shows. It really means a lot, and there's a lot more uh, to come. You know, I think this is gonna be something I continue on uh, for years and years and years. I think the biggest critique about my comedy, which is funny, is that, you know, people say I'm no Dave Chappelle or I'm no, you know, Chris Rock or I'm, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> like no uh, John Mulaney or, or, or what, like whatever insert famous comedian. And for me, that's very funny because it's absolutely true. I'm, I'm not stating I'm any of these or this insanely great comedian. My 
my view of it is like, I just want to write the best comedy. I want to be able to perform the best standup that I possibly can. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. It's been so, in a way, therapeutic, uh, but also in a way uh, of just being able to kind of let loose on a, a specific aspect of my character as a human being, not like a, you know, a role character, but like who I am as Brian in the real world. Uh, you know, like you, you don't see it all like in a video like this. You don't see it in my video game coverage. Um, but yeah, anyway, like again, if you guys want to help me out, the Instagram uh, is the best way uh, right now from a comedy perspective. I've, I've also post my shorts and reels. We got the Ginger Prime comedy channel. Plug in here. So. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, like that's completely distracted me. But I've talked to you guys, uh, you know, and hopefully I haven't wasted your time. And hopefully you guys got a, a great update uh, about the channel and, and how, where I'm at and and what, I, what it looks like for the future of Final Fantasy and, and so much more. So I love you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Hopefully you have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. But until then, take care.